Hey guys, we are live again this Tuesday, every Tuesday at 3 and today we are talking about how easy it is to actually become successful. How easy it really is. So we're going to talk about that. So I'm going to give some pointers on how you can easily um, do things to become successful and what you should do and then we're going to talk about that. Hi Esal, hi Kresham, thanks for joining in for today's live session. So before we start, just a few stuff that you should know. I'm having a webinar on the 17th of April. The webinar's topic is the millionaire mindset. And I'm going to talk about that topic over three weeks. It's going to be every Tuesday night from uh, 7 to 9. And it's going to be an online webinar that you can join from everywhere in South Africa. So many people in the Cape and wherever have asked me, Albert, when can I see a talk of you? So I said, let's make a webinar that anyone can access. Cool. Then I'm going to be at uh, Hartier's JV uh, High School tomorrow. And then also uh, Primary School Dani Malan tomorrow, the 11th of April. And then I'm having a career evening on the 18th of April with Keller Williams. Um, so if you would like to know a bit about that, see me talk. Uh, check out my Facebook and Instagram pages for all of my events and where I am, when, and then you can just join in. Cool, guys. So that's a bit about what's coming up. So, SL, Krishan, what's up in your businesses? How are things going? Uh, what are you looking at at this stage? Uh, let me know about your entrepreneurial journey or your business and any questions that you might have, and then we will answer them live today. Great, guys. So... Um, uh, today we're talking about uh, what, how easy it is to actually become successful. So I had the question the other day, Albert, is it difficult to become successful? Is it hard to become successful? And the answer is no, it isn't. It's, it's difficult, obviously, to put in the work and it's hard work and it's long hours, but it's not difficult. Like, like physically or mentally difficult. It's actually very easy. And the examples I, I used is like, uh, is it, can you read a business book, right? You've learned to read in grade one. So reading isn't difficult. And it's, if I ask you, can you read one book? Like if you have to put all of your effort in to read one book, then you'll tell me, yes, it's quite easy. To, to read a book, okay? And then if I ask you, okay, so how about waking up two hours earlier? Like waking up is something we do every day. It's not a difficult thing. And if I ask you to wake up two hours earlier tomorrow morning, you'll say, well, that's relatively easy. It's something I can do. And then if I ask you to work two hours later in the evening, uh, that's quite all right. I can work two hours later. Two hours in one day isn't that difficult it's actually quite easy okay to do these things it's just like a jogger as well if you ask a jogger or someone and they say they want to start jogging uh, and you ask them can you like run a hundred meters and they're like hundred meters yeah sure it's quite easy to run a hundred meters now the thing is and I think that is where the, the key concept comes in, is to do this repetitively and consistently. And that is where the trick comes in. Because there's a lot of easy things you can do to become successful. The question is, can you do it repetitively and consistently? And the other problem is, it's also quite easy not to do them. It's easy to say, I don't, I'm not going to jog the 100 meters. I'm going to crash on the couch. It's easy to say, I'm not going to work the two hours later or get up the two hours earlier because I want to stay in bed. It's easy to say, I'm not going to read the business book. Um, I'll rather watch a series. So, so it's also easy not to do it. But I think this is where the mindset comes in. And that is what we want to talk about. Michael Stills, thanks for joining in. Um, SL, Krishan, Michael, let me know what's up. And uh, if there's any questions, then we'll answer them right now live. Um, okay, yeah. So, easy things that you can do to make you successful. It's just about doing them consistently and repetitively. Okay. So, I want you to, first of all, identify where you're going 
and what kind of goal you have. So let's say you want to uh, lose a certain amount of kilos and you want to start jogging. Um, if you say, let's say I want to lose five kilos. Okay, five kilograms, I want to lose some weight, I want to lose five kilograms, okay? Then I want to ask you, okay, so how far do you want to jog? Okay, I want to jog five kilometers a day, okay? So that's the first step, guys. Identify where you want to be, um, and it should be something that you can measure, okay? Success, to, to in, in, in order to t say, hey, I've achieved success, hey, I'm successful, you need to be able to measure it first. Because if you're saying, I want to be successful or I want to be happier, let's say you want to be happier, and then I tell you a joke, you laugh, okay, you're happier, great, done, we've achieved this. <laughs> um, that's not going to work. So you have to have um, measurements that you can measure. So we're saying we want to drop 5 kgs and we want to run uh, 5 kilometers a day. That's our measurement. Now, that might be difficult as a startup. That might be difficult to drop five kilograms instantly and to suddenly start running five kilometers a day. That might be difficult. So, uh, what can we do about that? We can now take that five kilograms and five kilometers and break it down into smaller increments. Okay, we can say, let's not focus on the five kilograms because your mind will immediately tell you I can't lose that in uh, instantly let's not focus on the five kilometers because your mind will immediately say look Albert you can't jog five kilometers your body is not built for that okay and then your mind will Im immediately say okay no so what we do is we break it down into smaller things we say okay can I drop one kilogram okay can I jog one kilometer if that is still too difficult, you can say, okay, can I drop 500 grams and can I jog a half a kilometer until it becomes easy? Okay, so you, you break it down, break it down, break it down until it becomes something that is easy to do. So when you look at what you have to do and you say, you know, this is actually easy. I can do this. Then you're at the right spot. And now all I want you to do is to do that consistently and repetitively and success will follow because what's gonna happen is you're gonna jog a kilometer it's gonna become easy to do two kilometers it's gonna become easy to do three kilometers and then eventually five and it's gonna stay easy so it's gonna be easy 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 as you go up and as you get better it's gonna stay easy it's just about keeping it consistent and repetitive Cool guys, that's my two cents on how you can easily achieve success and how you can easily uh, become successful by taking that big success or that goal that you want to have, having a measurement of it, breaking it down into smaller, easy, achievable steps, doing that consistently and repetitively, and success will follow. Next week, guys, we have a guest on the live session at 3. Our guest is Johandre. He is the uh, head boy at HTS John Forster. And he's going to join us. So if you have any questions for a head boy um, and how to you know, do everything at school, how to be a great leader and that type of things, tune in next week, uh, Tuesday at 3, and you can answer. We'll answer your questions live. Johandre is going to sit with me in the live session, and you can ask us anything you want to know about leadership on that topic and me and Johandre will answer you. Looking forward 